Now, don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry. I sense some um, tension in the room. Um, the reason I'm cautious at this, this part of my set is that jokes can be a dangerous thing. I find this out. If you pick the wrong joke to start your set, you can turn a room against you in a heartbeat. So you've got to be very careful. And I have some anecdotal proof of this. Not too long ago, I was at a gig like this, full of nice people, and I picked the wrong joke. I turned everyone against me. And it was a joke about the fact that I suffer from a tight foreskin. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't worry, though. I managed to pull it back in the end. <laughs> Go, what I like most about that is the... Tension in the room as everyone goes, does he know what he's doing? Uh, more or less. Um, I, that's my one joke. Um, the rest of my time... Yeah, I, I figured I'd get it out of the way nice and early. Um, the rest of my time on stage is going to be sharing something with you. This is something I discovered on a very long car journey. You can have as much fun as you choose to have, and this will live in your head for the rest of your life. So I apologise right now, but if you happen to have a boring job or a long trip ahead, or a partner you want to tune out for a little bit and go to your happy place, this will be the ideal game to play in your mind. It's a simple word game. All you do is you think of any cultural reference, any song, film, anything with the word dance in it, and you remove the word dance, and you substitute the word wank. <laughs> some of you are way ahead of me, but I'm sensing <laughs> doubt in some corners of the room, but that's fair enough. Let me take you on a brief tour, and then you can come up with as many as you want in your own time. Um, so, for example, the movie round starts with, uh, what would you now call dirty dancing? <laughs> dirty wanking. Suddenly, that is a film. This is, like, better than any pub quiz you've ever been in, sir, isn't it? You're straight out of the fucking blocks, right? Um, suddenly, that is a film you'd watch with your girlfriend, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, nobody puts baby in the corner. Maybe if she's doing that, just let her finish in her own time. Yeah, um, how about this one? Flash dance would now be called what? Flash wank, which is quite funny, but the best part is visualising the poster that would have the tagline, Oh, what a feeling, underneath it. People get advanced in this. In Newcastle, this massive Geordie, which is their default size, just shouted, How How about that Kevin Costner film? Wankin' with wolves! I thought, that's pretty advanced. I'm stealing that. And lo, I did. Um, but in this particular game, uh, music is the gift that keeps on giving. It's a buffet that'll play in your mind forever. And I apologise in advance if I ruin the contents of your iPods for the next 20 years. Because once you start, you can't stop. Um, what about, I could have wanked all night, I could have wanked all night, and still come back for more. <laughs> not anymore. I'm 42, right? There's, not, there's a supply and demand issue, quite frankly, right? Um, Lionel Richie's disco floor filler now because yep settle down right some of you are way ahead of me on this one which goes oh what a feeling when you're wanking on the ceiling you're a young man you're a young man you can probably still manage it for me it's like a shower and a loft extension there's no pressure behind it at all it's not a pleasant image but it's vivid isn't it it's quite good uh, rock and roll songs like, Do you love me? Do you love me? Now that I can wag, 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 wag. Watch me now. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> By the way, if any of you are waiting for the clever twist at the end of this, you'll be waiting a long time. 
This is exactly what it sounds like. It's an overgrown man using a mild swear word. This is the equivalent of McDonald's of comedy. It will not touch the sides on the way through, but it will come back on you many times for the weeks to come. Um, and, and then even the romantic songs come out this quite badly. You've got Enrique Iglesias with his lovely song Hero, which would now start with the line, Would you wank if I asked you to wank? You know how they say eye contact's important in entertainment? I feel it's the opposite here, isn't it? It's making things kind of awkward. Yeah, and I ruined someone's wedding. Now, not at the wedding. Not at the wedding. It was, it was, it was a comedy club like this, and someone stormed up and said, we're going to have to change your entire song list, because our first song, my husband and myself, was going to be Lady in Red. All together... Is wanking with me, cheek to cheek. <laughs> it's not even the worst line in that song. Now, the worst line in that song is, I've never seen so many men ask you if you wanted to wank. <laughs> Around here, that's just like a Friday at the Granby, isn't it? That's just how that works in this town. But I, 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 tonight, this is me saying goodbye to this piece of material. It's served me well for many years. And I'm kind of happy because all people have done afterwards is give me more suggestions for this. Like uh, wanking in the street, wanking in the moonlight. Um, safety wank's a good one. Right? There's a song called Dance With My Father, which is where I draw the line. He's too competitive. Ruins everything. Can't just do something for its own sake. I will, sir. I'll save that for you later. So, well, I just, sometimes I don't know if this is banter or flirtatious. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, you know, a bit of both. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things. You walk into a club heterosexual, see a ginger man burning under two bright lights, and you're bi curious. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll chat in a bit. I'm kind of working. So, um, <laughs> the point I'm making is there are many, many options to this song, but. I defy anyone to come up with a better example and a more childish example than what I will leave you with now, which will turn this from a gorgeous comedy club in the heart of Liverpool to an odd religious cult meeting. And if you know the words, join in the chorus. And if you don't, stare, because it's still attention. <laughs> and it's the song that goes... I wanked in the morning when the world has begun And I wanked on the moon and the stars and the sun And I came down from heaven and I wanked on the earth In Bethlehem I had my birth Wank then, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the wank, said he And I'll lead you all wherever you may be And I'll lead you all in the wank, said he You can always tell, obviously, Liverpool A lot of Irish immigration A lot of people deep down still a little bit Christian And a bit uncomfortable I once ruined a gig for a load of people from a local primary school because I debased primary sort of assembly for the next 20 years. And I should have stopped, but I didn't. Because the second verse was funnier. I wank for the scribes and the Pharisees, but they wouldn't wank and they wouldn't follow me. I wank for the fishermen, for James and John. They came with me and the wank went on. Wank then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the wank, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be. And I'll lead you all in the wank, said he. I wanked on a Friday when the sky turned black. It's hard to wank with the devil on your back. Right, that's too far. <laughs> If you've been affected by any issues raised... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologise for uh, soiling your ears with that horrible game. But remember, at some point soon you'll hear a song you'll think of me. You've been a joy. My name's Chris. I'll see you again. Good night!